Hello, I'm Marty Green, and I used to be the math guy on Winnipeg's Community Access TV about 25 years ago. It's been a while since I've done any science projects for YouTube, but I got a pretty good one today. I hope you're going to enjoy it. It started when I tried to take apart uh, an old uh, smoke detector because um, I wanted to use the, um, this, the beeper, the noisemaker, for a different project. Um, and uh, what happened, it's got this piezoelectric uh, disc inside it, which unfortunately when I was taking it apart, I, 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 I tore the leads off it. And if you've ever done that, you know they're really hard to uh, solder back on. I was able to solder two of the leads back on, but the, th the third one I burned out, and uh, so I couldn't get it back into its original condition. If you want to see why there's three leads, I, I pulled up a circuit diagram for this, and... Uh, you can see that uh, uh, it's a simple device, but there's a third connection for um, uh, for the feedback, which which makes it a um, a self resonant oscillator with a very simple transistor circuit, and that's what they use in the smoke detector. And uh, so I couldn't get it working again, but I still wanted to see if um, if I could still uh, find the resonance. So I called this program up I have, which is the NCH tone generator. And I, I programmed in a frequency sweep starting at starting at something like uh, 2100 hertz and going up to about 2500 hertz. And we see it, I've got a 20 second sweep set in. And we see that when I when I turn it on, um, it, the resonance comes up real good. Let me just hit play and let's see what it does. And there we go. That's the finest possible. Oh, looks like I've lost cookie.